with opening ceremonies complete, these veterans set off for the 36-hole Ryder Cup-style match play golf tournament, where the branch with the most points after two days of golf wins the Armed Forces Cup. And the favorites had to be the defending champions, Team Army. Founded in June of 1775, the Army is the United States' oldest branch and its largest, with over 450,000 active personnel. Historically regarded as the world's premier land fighting force, they know a thing or two about winning. At this year's Armed Forces Cup, they'll be led by a first-time captain, Steve Bristow, who knew that back-to-back -back titles depended on ace golfer Tim Stanton and the ever-resilient Gerald Burton II. Stand up. My name is Colonel Retired Steve Bristow. I was in the U.S. Army for a little over 30 years. I am Sergeant Major Tim Stanton with the Army. 30 years of service. I decided to join the Army back when I was a young man. It was a way to get some money to go to college, which was my ultimate plan. I enjoyed the Army, so I wound up staying. I left Tucson, Arizona and went straight to Germany <laughs> after basic training and, and AIT. So it was life changing for me and then just a big culture change too. I enlisted in the Army as a young infantryman. I got commissioned and I started out as an armor officer and then I moved to communications. After that, went out to various assignments around the world. Germany once, several times overseas for the Gulf War, Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan. Gerald Burton, 14 years in the Army. My father was in the Army. His father was in the Army. Uh, his two brothers were in the Army. It was a path set out for me. So when I went in the Army, I did three tours in Iraq. My first two deployments, 1993 and 95, were planned deployments, so we knew those in advance. Being overseas, away from your family, is, is tough. Um, you know, you, you get up every day and you don't know what your day is going to be at the end of it. My last deployment was in 2007. I actually volunteered. So my unit, uh, we did convoy security. 2007, we were out on a mission, and uh, my truck was hit with an IED. and um, caused traumatic brain injury to me. Um, and then what happened? Uh, but you know, I go to the VA and I see people a lot worse than, than I am, so I'm just thankful that I can, can do what I do. The VGA is incredible. You know, the VJs gave me life. So last year, I was a team captain for Army at the Armed Forces Cup. And leading my team to victory was one of the best feelings I've ever had in my life. And I've met people from every, every state. And I've got friends everywhere. And I, I mean, I love these guys. I love the VGA, what it represents. Gerald is a good friend. He's just a kind, generous man. Thinks of others first before himself. I couldn't think of anybody I'd rather have be here with me as my captain's pick. Gerald's an awesome guy. I mean, Gerald was our team captain last year. He's on our team this year, and we're going to have a good time again. In 2021, I was diagnosed with bone cancer. So now I, I got a different outlook on life. Every day I wake up, it's a blessing. Just wanna live my life and be happy and try to make others happy. And hopefully this year, just as important, we're gonna keep that Armed Forces Cup trophy in the Army. Go Army, hua. Hua, go Army. Go Army, hua. The reigning champions didn't disappoint on day one, leading all teams with six and a half points. Steve Bristow, Tim Stanton, and Gerald Burton contributed to three of the six individual wins for Team Army.